right, so check this out. This is gonna be the next day that we shot the last video. So y'all gonna get that video today. As y'all seen in the last video, if y'all didn't watch it, go back and watch that and watch this one so y'all can keep up and know what's going on. So we went to Galliana's order a park parking sensor. It's it's like the parking sensor in the active dampening plug-in and all that good old stuff we ordered that yesterday they called me this morning and told me it was here look at this southfield it's not even southfield this is i think beverly hills y'all gotta fix your roads this shit look terrible so yeah so we on the way up to galliana's and we finna grab some eat i'm thinking some dave's hot chicken because i've been craving that for like the longest and i really don't be able to have a chance to really get it so we got like a 20 minute ride to Galliana's and then I'm gonna just see y'all after. So with the last video, we ended up replacing the actual adaptive suspension, little wire, the harness or whatever. That didn't fix it. We still got the traction control light on. So the next piece we just ordered should fix it. I gotta turn off the damn seat warmers. Ass is getting stinky. I'm just playing, I washed my ass today. I don't know if y'all did or not, but so hopefully this fixes the car this all this bumpiness and stuff like that the car is like stuck in track mode like suspension stuck in track everything else is like stuck in like eco like this boy is like bouncy like i don't know this getting to the point it's really irritating me so like i said i'm going to north carolina next month for burroughs event i think it's our birthday event it's like a legal slide show um or slide pit let's get that correct in just case anybody watching and then, yeah, it's about a 10 hour ride. Like, the biggest YouTuber is gonna be there. So, if y'all want me to do any collabs out there, hit my Instagram right here. I'm gonna be doing collabs out there for free. I don't want no money. I'm not charging nobody nothing. I'm doing it off the love. I'm coming all the way out there. And I might be in Atlanta for a day or two. So, if you wanna do any type of collabs, I just please ask you to have a kind of a platform set up with the video. I don't care if you get 10 views, 50 views, or 100 views. Just have your channel kind of established don't make the first video of your channel a collab with me you know what i'm saying so that's all i ask and i'm gonna go out there and i'm gonna look out you don't gotta pay me nothing none of that so yeah coming up to 13 and woody if y'all don't know that's the spot right there you meet up you chill over there too that's the spot you meet up, chill, and just have fun summer coming up it's finna be crazy i ain't gonna fake we're gonna be pulling up to the dealership. So I know I've been on my ass about the alignment. Don't even trip. If this part fixes the car suspension in the front end, I'm going to begin the wheel alignment on the car. So hopefully this fixes it. I just talked to my mechanic. I'm most likely going to go in there tomorrow. And yeah, so I'm about to run in here real quick, grab this receipt, grab this part. Hopefully this it. They said that this is not what I need they can take it back as long as I don't open it. Should come in a clear plastic bag, so I should be able to know off rip before I even leave here, if that's what I need. But yeah, the inventory looks exactly the same. Let's just park it right here. We're gonna be in and out, put the window up. I'm about to run in there real quick. I'm gonna just see y'all in a minute. Should be right up here. So this will look like back here, nothing too crazy. The part is here, he's going to get it. Yeah. We're gonna be all set and square away for tomorrow. I'm hoping this gets everything done. So we'll just see. Okay. This is, so it comes with the pigtail, correct? Okay. Yes, oh, this is definitely what I need. Thank you. Awesome. I appreciate it. you too, man. So this is it. This is exactly what we need. I don't know what none of this stuff is supposed to look like, but all I know is this connector piece the same connected piece that we need. The Wendy, so I don't know how good y'all can hear me, but on the way out, the guy was like, so if you don't want this wild body Hellcat red eye, hell no! This motherfucker already expensive! It's great business. Isn't it crazy how they put like Brembo's on the V6s and 5.7s? I don't think that's a Scott Pack. That might be a 5.7, I don't know. A lot of people don't like that they making them look like scat packs and stuff but man i really don't care maybe it might be a money grab and let's see this is it's a gt i see it on the back so this is a v6 with the brimbos that ain't bad i ain't gonna fake we should do a little inventory check but i ain't even gonna waste our time 
We don't got nothing to look for because we ain't getting no new car no time, new soon. Unless I get rich tomorrow. All right, so we pulling up now. Already placed a little order through the app. Oh, hey, looking. He looking at Oh, the gods. He get his ass dealt with. Photo grave. But, damn, y'all. Okay, I'll come to. So what is this southfield y'all just want to act up it is right there the next day right, welcome back to a new day same video now, today is going to be the day we get the piece put on the car i got the little adaptive suspension sensor piece that was damn near a lot to say look at dpd what they on man no fake but oh yeah so y'all know from last video pigtail down there then we got a ticket i don't even know if i told y'all about the ticket we got like it's been BS, I ain't gonna fake. We are about 14 minutes away from the shop. I'm kinda running late. I'ma tap back in with y'all when I get there. And I'm hoping um, this should be all, oh, that this should fix the whole problem. Look at that new Mustang. What y'all think about them? I don't know if I like them, I ain't gonna fake. The tail lights on them is ass, but like the new interior, like how they got like the big ass screen, I, I fuck with that, I ain't gonna fake. As y'all see, like the car should be in just street mode. The steering is not the suspension in the uh, tractor, so I'm lost. <laughs> I ain't gonna fake. So hopefully this piece helps everything I'm praying because if I gotta take this car to a shop, well, to the dealership, before I go out of town for the April 13th trip, I'm gonna be sick. I know no cop, no cop. So I feel like it's kind of my fault because I'm on some last minute BS, so I mean, it just, it is what it is. A few minutes later. This is the piece right here, the adaptive suspension sensor. Now, like y'all see, the pigtail was cut like way too short. So the pigtail is gonna go on here. So this connector piece is gonna slide off. The new pigtail is gonna come on. So I got this from the dealership. It had to be ordered. That's if y'all missed the last video. So the whole pigtail got to be connected. I don't know if you know how to do that. So yeah, they sent the wiring and then boom, so that, piece right here is the same piece that's right here so he gonna have to look at this side to see how this mounts up it's gonna be like under the wheel well somewhere so this should fix it it's like the little sh heat shrink or whatever however you say that and then that should be it so i'm just hoping and praying that's what it is yeah because the boy ride like a striker no fake all right the car just tweaked off for some reason it just whole oh, security system just went off and everything but Okay, let's come on in here. And the damn alarm then went off. It just did some crazy shit, but we in here. Now, it's the passenger side. We already got the pig telling stuff out the wrapper. So, hopefully everything will be smooth with it. This should fix the suspension because, like, everything else under there, like, should be good. So, if this don't fix it, I don't know what to do after this. Finna get the car lifted up. Then it look like it's kind of already getting ready to be put together. I don't know. Let's see, man. This should fix it, though. Like, if this fix it, the car is ready to go out of town. You won't have to worry about nothing else at all. So, fingers crossed. And then if it does fix it, I might have him do a wooden lighting today. So, we have to see how this play out. You know this car sit low as hell. He had to jack it up to even get them up under there. That's crazy. I think y'all gonna be able to see it from here with the wheel on, but the wires are, like, right there that are clipped. And yeah, so hopefully this is good. So in this driver's side, it's like A-OK. -okay. Like nothing happened on this side. What is it, rock chips and stuff right there? Hold on. Bro, what is this? The fuck? All right, so this shit right here. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all these little wires. This is if you haven't watched the last video. So these wires are cut. They was cut from an accident. These little three wires. And uh, I don't know where the little pieces go. You see? Oh yeah, yup, yup. So that's where it stick up at too. Mm -hmm. I might have lost inside the accident too. I did remember him taking that off. But the wiring, yup. Right here, yup. It's longer than that. My guy just zip tied it so it won't be like dragging or nothing like that. This is that's causing a problem most likely. This shit right there. I just turned the light on so y'all can see it better. This is it right here, the little sensor. Then 
Everything up under here looks straight. This look good. So this is what we replaced in the last video, that piece right there. And this car looks so freaking aggressive with the new front splitter. Shout out to Super Auto USA. If y'all need anything as far as front splitters, diffusers, anything of that nature for chargers, challengers, any other type of car, go to Super Auto USA. I'm gonna have the discount code on the screen for 11% off of all their products. He's just trying to figure out which wire is which so it can be hooked up correctly. So if y'all don't know, after the car accident, my rear view camera, it works like when the winter works. It's like weird as hell. So I was doing some research. They were saying this is like a parking, a rear parking aid assist or something like that. So that should fix the camera as well. So the camera should be straight. Everything should be good. So when I get in the car and put the car in reverse, if the camera is good, most likely the suspension is good too, because it all play in a factor. The wiring is for the camera, but the plug into the sensor for the suspension, if that makes sense. <laughs> He's a quick look. He pretty much got everything wired up already. He said, this is it right here. So we got to find a screw. I believe it's this hole. And then uh, that should be it. I'm trying to get a wood alignment today, but he about to leave. So I don't know. I might come back in a few days and get the wood alignment. Only if this works. If it don't work, we got something else to figure out. And then we'll get a wood alignment. There'll be days like this when there's no one complaining. Days like this. Trail got that falls into place. Hey, like the suspension system plugged in, the wiring right here. Everything zip tied up. So that side looks exactly like this side with the sensor being right here. So hey, things should be good. We all should be Gucci in the coochie. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I sound like that one. So we're going on just like that. And this should solve everything. I'm hoping. And praying, cause I don't know, like what the fuck, what the fuck else, what the fuck else, what the fuck else. <laughs> he working fast. <laughs> Bro, I, I, I probably wasn't even here for like thirty minutes. I feel like, what you think? Not, I feel like not even thirty, bro. Get it done, get, get it easy. Get, get thirty. What's your Instagram? I know you be working outside too, so. Tap in with me, all Mopars. Not just Mopars, any car to be honest, but I specialize in Mopars. Okay, okay. Yeah, this ain't the first time he didn't fix my car, even touched the car, nothing like that. So, yeah, I'm about to get this guy paid, and I'm going to tune back in when I get back inside the car. Everything should be good after this. All right, y'all, so we're back in the car. Everything should be good. We're going to start the car up. If it say anything about suspension or the traction control light on, we're fucked. But let's see if it cuts off. Okay, it's still on. Give it a second or so. Hold on. We're gonna see. Backup camera doing something weird it never really did before. But I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna probably let the car line itself again. No, I'm just talking for the video. Alright. And then uh I don't know. Now, what I have noticed is when we turned the car on, I didn't see nothing about the suspension popping up. So let's turn the, okay, now it pops up. Fuck. Check this out. It is approximately two hours later. Um, Y'all seen me turn it on. Now it said the little service suspension stuff, but it didn't say it so fast. So usually right when I turn the car on, it does it. Drove it home, it still felt bumpy like it did. And then I got home, I unplugged my battery, and now look, the steering mode is gone. So the car definitely feels like it's something different going on. So today is Friday, and I'm going to go Monday to get the codes actually ran because I thought this would fix everything. Even if it didn't fix it, that's not what I needed. That's something that came with the car and I was broke. So it already had to get replaced and be replaced. So I'm not tripping on that. The money I spent... It is what it is because that has something to do with the suspension. It's called the adaptive suspension sensor. So we should be all set Monday. Hopefully everything is going to be okay. We're going to get the car plugged up to the reader. It's going to read the check engine light for the have one. It's going to read the suspension. It's going to read everything and let me know everything that's going on with this car. So we're going to go to do that Monday. And then Monday we should have the final what's going on now. By it being a sensor that's been unplugged. I don't know if it got to be recalibrated or 
anything of that nature. I don't know what's going on with that. So hopefully it's just something else that's hopefully, I guess, mess going on in the wiring or however it's going to go that we could just be simple, fix it or calibrate it or however we got to do it. So I don't know, man, we're going to see because I do not want to take the dealership. Y'all know the dealership charge crazy money. So, man, we're going to figure this out. But right now, y'all see we are low on gas. We are heading to Sam's Club. I need to get some air in this tire. I've been playing and this tire been low for like a month or so. So we're going to probably grab some air for the tire, grab some gas. Um, tonight's Friday. I don't know. We'll remind me slapping tonight. Ain't no telling. It's kind of sunny out. It's 50 degrees out. It's low key kind of cold because the wind chills is crazy. But I'm going to see y'all when we get to Sam's Club. We're going to grab some gas. I'm hoping they ain't. God damn, Charlie. You gotta get your motherfucking brakes then. Well, I'm hoping the line ain't, it is crazy long. Yikes. <sighs> I'm looking kind of tired, y'all. I ain't gonna fake. I don't even know why. I'm just a little, somebody screaming and shit. Damn, they up here jam packed today. Ain't no way this many people need gas. It's like the third time I didn't cost my look at my car. Dude inside the Infinity, been looking at my car since I got here. Like, this car really turned next. Like, I told y'all, I feel like I got the hardest charger for well, like 392 in the city or whatever, however you want to say it. Because I ain't gonna lie, my combo is hard. Peanut butter guts, bluish purple stripes, white pinstripes, white decals. Come on, like, white brakes. Y'all know how this go. Every time we go to Sam's Club, we gotta ask y'all how much y'all think it's gonna take. Now it's EE. -E. Gas is four dollars a gallon. So maybe I'm gonna be looking at 73. Let's go. I think it's gonna be 73 dollars to fill the car up. Let's go ahead. Let this pump. Come on. What you doing now? Let's go. There we go. So I'm thinking about 73 dollars. We'll like get the car right. Stay up here looking at me like I'm crazy as shit, holding the camera and just talking to myself. But if they don't get it, they don't supposed to get it. No fake. I said 73, but some reason I think it's gonna be like 65. Nah, it can't be 73. No cap. 73 might be like I don't know what maybe say that. It's usually like 65. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it might be 73. Maybe 75. I don't know. We gotta just wait and see. I don't know. 70. Sheesh, let's hang this up. Let's hop on in here. Get y'all a little warm start. Damn. So we got 13.7 miles per gallon. I low key been chilling. So the miles per gallon been like 13.7 to 14 ish. 233 miles till empty. That's low key kind of good because usually I'm at like 150. Or like 180 or something like that. As we are leaving Sam's Club, the steering popped back up and it's in street mode. So maybe we might just be good. Bro, see, everything say street, but when you come in here, it say sport. I don't know, we gonna see. But the steering usually be in sport too. So we're gonna drive, look at the GT500. God damn, that mug looks so crazy. And he down, shit, that's the old white guy. Not the race matters, but Unk ass in there, cool man. I love the GC 500, it's no cap. So the GC 500 got the best body lines. One hour later. It's later on I had to go home and like get changed and stuff like that. But as y'all see, it's starting to rain. So um basically I didn't really talk as much as I should have been talking when I was with my uh mechanic, but he plugged the car up. Basically, he was trying to say it was something going wrong with like the clock spring or like the turn angle sensor and um I forgot to tell him that I'm missing my adaptive cruise control, the whole adaptive system. So now that has to be the only thing that is making this go wrong. Right now, I'm going up to the dealership to order this stuff because 
people on Facebook Marketplace act like they don't want no money. Like, they be like, just on all BS. You hit them back, you tell them you're ready to come get it. You ain't even negotiating the price. Whatever they want, you coming to get it. Then they spin move you. Like, I don't know. So, that's holding me back. I was waiting on the guy for two or three days, and I feel like he just don't want no money. Like, you can't help nobody that don't want no help. So, we're going to go up here and pay the dealership price. Mind you, dealerships ain't cheap. So, we're going to go up here and pay the dealership price. Yeah, so we're going to need one more piece after we get the piece we get for the dealership. Right now, we are ordering the sensor cover. It's like 50 bucks. We're going to have that, and then we need the grill. They was telling me the grill going to take about four or five days, but the grill is like 170 I'm trying to get it off the street or marketplace. So I'm going to give them a little bit more hope on that because they got a little bit more time to finagle before we actually got to put the car together because we got to the 13th. It's like the 4th or something like that, the 5th. So we still like, we don't got like that much time, but we got a little bit of time. So we are going to try to still go the cheaper route and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to find a tire. I got a 275, 45, 20 tire in my trunk. I need one more tire, so we had tires for the road trip. So it's a lot of stuff I gotta get done. It just, I gotta just do it. You know what I'm saying? When we pulling up on a tally right here, what is this? I see numbers. I think that's a five, yeah, it's a five, seven. It's cool though. I'm just so ready to be in North Carolina. Look at the weather, like it's gloomy as hell. Y'all see the clouds like getting dark, like, I'm about to have a ball. 10 hour drive to North Carolina. We about to go crazy and the whole family coming with me to stand behind your boy. No fake, we finna slide crazy. Now I still gotta learn, but we gonna go crazy for sure. All right, y'all know we had to pull up and park real nice, VIP type, you know what I'm saying? But let's go in here, enough of the shenanigans. Oh, y'all closed? Yeah, I just need to. I need to order a part. This is for Oh shit! I, I just see the parts up there. All right. Oh. So y'all, yeah, we here. We here. We getting the part ordered. I swear, I feel like I'm getting the runaround. I come up here. They telling me I can order the part. The part gonna be fifty. It's gonna take a few days, which is cool. I'm not tripping. Then I get up here. They said it's on back order, they're not giving me an ETA. So now I gotta go to Galliana's and go get wax for the part. So I'm about to pay them two times as much as it cost up here to go to Galliana's and get it today. This shit crazy. I can't cry over spoiled milk, so it just it is what it is. They close at six. We about 20 minutes away, so it's about to rain. I'm on ball tires, so we just finna get there. I'm gonna just see y'all when we get there, actually get the part in our hands and not. Oh, you gotta wait. Blah blah blah. Price change. This is this is all that. It's Caprice V. It's like a big brother to a G8 in a Chevy SS. Location number two. If we go in here and they give me some BS to where like about the part, the price is different. Anything like that. Going upside their head. No fake. Go in here. They tell me parts is on the other side. Like I really feel like I'm getting trolled. Like no BS. Like. I feel like I'm getting trolled right now. And they got a few bought up ass cars. This is the collision spot. Like we got Yana sending cars to the collision. They got some cats. Got some scats. And the parts department should be maybe over on this side, she was saying. But come on, don't start doing that. That's it right here. We're going to just pull up and park. I ain't gonna fade. We're gonna park like right here. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go because this don't look like somewhere I belong. No fake. Hey, how you doing? I'm here to order a part. Not order it, we'll pick a part up. You already ordered it? No, they told me I could just come in and get it. It's in stock. Okay. They gave you an invoice or something? No, they told me I could come here and pay here. Hey, you motherfuckers down there, boy. I ain't gonna lie, I, I came through this door at first. I'm like, this look like nowhere I'm supposed to even walk in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? right here. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Ain't nobody here. Everybody gone now. And we about to leave in a minute, so. Oh, yeah. Nah, you good, man. All right, there you go, man. He gave Thank me the part. Oh, right, Thank you so much. Y'all have a nice day. Part down. One more part to go this side this is the next dilemma we got the sensor cover and then now um we need the grill 
I've been hitting this dude up. He low key been spinning me. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna fake like I was telling y'all. Like people don't want no money. But anyways, so the guy just reached back out to me. He said we can meet about six thirty or six forty or so. We gonna be going to Telegraph in like thirty minutes. Yeah, I gotta come here. I wanna hike. See, like I want something to drink. I'm thirsty as hell. No cap. So we finna grab something to drink real quick. They trying to ball some shit up. Ball up records. Come get some. Fuck, who you looking at? What the fuck is my McDonald's boys using the mobile app today? No, nah, that's fine. I just want a, a large orange high C with light ice. And that's it. One hour later. Now we posted up here waiting for the guy to pull up with the grill. I didn't fumble the damn plate down there and lost my damn debit card. I couldn't even pull money off the ATM. All that. So... Once he get here, I'm probably gonna just finish the video off. We got the first piece right here. This is the uh, adaptive camera cover or whatever you wanna say it is. Then once we get this lower grill, we gonna be all set. The car should be riding very, very smooth. We're not gonna do that to the next video. This video is already long as hell, like already long enough. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna grab this, I'm gonna show all this, then we're gonna see y'all in the next one but not just yet y'all gotta hold on tight this must be him right here just pulled up crazy second gen back to back that ah, boy's looking good jeez <laughs> thank you man them boys looking fire second gen boys Oh yeah, so we got that taken care of. I'm so freaking glad. And now let's get back home because it is starting to rain like very bad. So let's get on to the crib. We on ball tires, so this shit should be interesting. The cyber truck right here. How y'all feel about it? I don't know. That boy huge is that boy huge in person, but in the back seat we got the part. I'm gonna show that to y'all real quick so I can end this video off. And get this edited so y'all can get this video tomorrow um we got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow i'm not gonna lie i gotta ship off a package and get the tires put on but enough of that i'm gonna show y'all this real quick this is the part we need basically the grill the bezel all the clips and stuff are still good and then yeah i already hit up pack a punch to ask him when can i come over and get that sorted out so then we gonna see, we get the tires put on tomorrow, then the car is gonna be ready. I'm just hoping to God, we get the camera put back on there, everything is good, the wiring should be good, and we should be all set. It is 7.15, uh, about 46 degrees outside, cold as hell. Look at the sky, it's gonna be nice and wet and fucking storming outside. So we gotta creep the car on home, as y'all can see. So. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. I thank everybody for supporting me. April 11th, I'm going to be in North Carolina. Info is going to be on the screen to my Instagram. DM me. I'm going to be out there doing videos, collabing with people for free. Off the love. Hit me up. Let's lock in the collab. Let's work free of charge. I'm coming out to your city. I want to do as many videos as I can. I don't care if you get a 1,000 views, 100 views, 50 views. As long as you're consistent and you actually doing it, you actually trying i'll help you like i'm not a stuck up hollywood person or nothing like that i just ask for y'all to have something going on with y'all channel like don't make me come to your state and you want to be a youtuber now all of a sudden which ain't bad but like have a foundation have videos up don't just try to get me for a clap and you ain't uploaded six seven months because I, I feel like my time ain't wasted and i can help somebody else you know so make sure y'all actually on there posting this stuff and i don't got a problem it's gonna be limited spots available because I'm out there on other type of time and too. So if you wanna do a video of me free of charge, just hit me on Instagram right there. I love y'all so much. Appreciate y'all for hey, the yo, support. Leave a like, brace, comment, and subscribe. I'ma see y'all when I hey, see y'all. Y'all hey, stay up. Right. Y'all stay yeah. blessed and I'm out. I ain't in the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us man down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live I got the news from my sister, gave me chills Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill He popped his hands and I dog itching to do a drill